and see if that's a good place to lead in here. So here it is, buffer 13. Buffer 13 sounds like this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in 2662, part 15, transitions and energy diagram. Today, we caught up with several sessions. We have added what we are calling buffers buffer O, buffer 1, buffer 2, between the pieces that we'd already composed and listened to and arranged into an overall chapter 2. Um, and we also assigned adjectives, like this is a listening, shifting, sleepy. And the buffers are basically matching between what they just heard in the part before them and what they're hearing in the part coming up next. And they're doing a matching of uh, cadences, chords, and also if it's a three rhythm or a two rhythm. We also worked on our line diagram, which is this one, and gave everything an energy score. Uh, as a quick example, if it was a rest chord, it has a zero energy. If it was rest plus urge, it got a half energy. If it's in three time, we just call that a nominal zero. If it's in two time, we gave it a one. Uh, what was the fastest note in the piece? The, the faster the note, the higher the energy. Then we talked about, are there changes? And every time there's a mode change, like from full tonality to minor, we, we just said, boom, there's a change. And is there a change in the root? And if it moves up from C to D, we gave it a 1. If it comes down from D to C, we gave it a minus 1. And like that. So everything has been given an energy score. And the energy is over here. These are the energy scores. And we did a little fun diagram that looks like this. So the bar numbers across the bottom, we're all the way up to 100. Uh, 80, almost 180 bars, and the vertical axis is that energy score. The average is something like 1.4, and then each uh, individual line over here that has its own energy number is plotted here. And what we saw is that if we draw a line from here to here, uh, basically if you go from bar 1, energy 0, to bar 45, energy minus 1, that constitutes what we call part 1. Part one, and then we similarly labeled part two, part two, part three, and part four. And so we ended up with four parts. And we asked ourselves, did that make sense? And what we double checked here was, well, in part one, we're going from a, a what we called a a, a listening in C. Listening, listen, see. So it says listening. And then we ended up in poised, and it turns out that that happens to be in the. We look all the way over here. It is in, well, the last, we're, we're in D right there. So, so in the very first part, the action is we, we're starting in C and moving up to D. We went from listening to being poised. Then here we were landing and settling. And that this is kind of the moving up and down, landing, crawling around, hovering, settling. I mean, there's a bunch of lifting and stuff going on in the middle, but where we started and where we ended was in D. And in part three, similarly, we started and ended in D, but we kind of have some different melodic modes here. And um, 
uh, by melodic modes. What do we mean? They're kind of like standalone little sections. So we'll listen for those in a minute. Uh, so, so they were different. Even though they landed D, settled D, they kind of had their, uh, they had kind of different motifs in here, and and we'll listen to what that sounds like. And then finally, part four, we were we were in a landing mode in D, and we landed again. But now we landed in G flat. We landed up, we shifted up to the, from the D, which is a mode, to the G flat, which is a mode. So it seemed it seemed like it made sense. Seems like it makes sense so far. And, and somehow our assigning all those energy scores resulted in something that suggested this structure at, that we're now going to listen to. So ladies and gentlemen, chapter two, and we'll turn the mic off for this, and we'll track on the left hand side. So here we go.
So there we have it. And again, where we're looking to go next is um, we talked about slow harmony, moving harmony. We actually have that in there in the buffers. Uh, percussion parts, volume changes, inline timbre. So thank you for your time and attention. This has been four separate work sessions uh, where we kind of streamed the fourth one. And thank you for your being here to listen and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always,